questions about cloud computing, it's very important that you understand the terminology that the other person is using because um, sometimes people are only really talking about um, kind of the, the, the more back end stuff that Jonathan described and, and they don't really view, you know, Facebook as cloud computing. Well, Facebook is, you know, I, I keep my personal memories in the cloud. That's uh, that I think is cloud computing. So I personally support a broader um, a, a broader definition, but I just want to flag as a data point that that one should um, kind of be sure you know exactly what 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 the other person is thinking of when when you're talking about cloud computing. And I mean, Jonathan has already, you know, flagged, you know, a lot of the potential um, and, and upsides for cloud computing. Um, and, and from a consumer perspective, um, since I'm, you know, a consumer advocate first, um, I mean, really I think the most exciting potential is not so much, you know, what can Flickr do for me or what can Gmail do for me, but it, it is, as Jonathan noted, the, 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 the innovation that can come out of out of a robust cloud computing system where where a new a, a startup um, service can in fact deploy a, a, a complex, sophisticated server network without actually having to own or run any servers. Um, and, and that really does um, allow um, innovators to get to market um, more quickly. And, and, and at the end of the day, I think that's really, you know, for, for, for users, if you have to ask, you know, you know if, if user says, well, what's in cloud computing for me? Yeah, you can point to Flickr and, and, and great services online, but, but, but I really think the biggest benefit for, for, for users is, um, is, is kind of the innovation that we don't yet know, you know, what it will be. Um, but, you know, th there, are, there are some, you know, <laughs> significant risks and challenges to, to cloud computing. And I mean, a lot of those risks are kind of in inherent in the questions that Dan asked of, um, you know, is my data private, is my data secure? Th those risks get a lot more complicated when you look, you know, at, at transnational cloud computing, at, at, at international um, global cloud computing. I mean, th there, there's risks to the operators of cloud systems. Um, I mean, th they have risks because, you know, they don't know what data retention laws apply to their t data. They don't know what data privacy, data protection laws um, apply to their data. You know, th they're not even sure necessarily, you know, if they get a law enforcement request, um, you know what? Um, you know w w which 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 set of um, law enforcement um, you know rules and and warrant requirements uh, apply to the data. And, and indeed, my understanding, if you talk to cloud providers, is that is that they don't even know for sure where the data is. If the if the government comes to me and says, you know provide me all of the data from X Y Z customer of yours. Um, they don't even have an, a clear, easy way to always know what country that data is located in, and indeed, doing the lookup to determine where that data is can actually change where the data is. And so, and so, just the the, the challenges of being a, a cloud computing service provider and figuring out how to respond to to law enforcement requests is is, is a very significant challenge. Um, you know, and then. You layer on top of that the services that are using cloud computing, of a cloud computing platform to to to, to offer us a, a retail or you know a, a consumer facing or a business facing service, you know, you, you take all the, all the challenges of of the um, you know kind of the underlying cloud computing provider and, and you layer on top of of the challenges where where the Service the, the the overlying service may you know may not even have a way to know which where the their their own data is. I mean they not may, they may not have access directly into you know the Amazon system to to be able to determine where where the data is. Um, and, and so you know and, and then they also I mean you know they're kind of caught in the middle between between cloud computing service providers um, and their customers, you know, they have a very hard time even saying to their customers, well, yes, we'll follow the local law if they can't even know for sure what locality um, applies. So, I mean, I, you know, th there are some very serious challenges that, 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 that I don't think that we have, um, you know, begun to, to figure out. And, and then, of course, there are serious challenges to, um, 
to to the users of cloud computing services because again you know where is my data what what law enforcement agency can get access to my data you know I, I may be in the United States the the company I'm dealing with may be in the United States but my data may end up actually not being in the United States and does that make it more exposed to 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 risk um, or government access than than, than I'm expecting um, and, and I, lots of the I, let me just also put on the table um, you know, another concern, I mean, a lot of the focus of the policy focus on um, cloud computing policy concerns relate to privacy and security, and I think those are the, the most significant um, kind of immediate concerns, how you, how you protect the information and, and what standards apply. But, but I also want to, you know, flag um, that, that I think that, w that we will move to seeing risks to free speech. You know, it's not just a privacy concern. I think there are, free, there are risks to, 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 to free speech on the Internet that cloud computing presents. I mean, China is often kind of used as a as a favorite target to to point to you know some other country and say, you know, l look at all the repressive things that they're doing. But, but I mean, l let's look at Italy right now. I mean, let's put China aside. Let's let let let's look at a country we don't normally think as as you know a leader in in repression. And you know, in in Italy, um, they they recently convicted Google executives. Um, of criminal violations because of a video that some Italian teenagers had posted to Google Video, and that Google Video had removed within 24 hours of getting notice of the content of that video, but nevertheless they were, they were convicted. Well, I have a real concern that that ultimately the cloud computing system could be used as a point of control for censorship efforts. Um, if if just hypothetically, um, you know, I have a service. That, that has controversial content or content that's at least controversial in some other country. Um, I use the Amazon system um, to, to, to host my content. Um, and unbeknownst to me, Amazon, for unrelated reasons, has a server in Italy. Um, whether or not my data is on that server in Italy, I mean, there are employees of Amazon in Italy that, that you know, Italy can go arrest and say, you know, take down this content from your service. And so, you know, again, that's another set of issues that we've not really kind of begun to figure out what to do, um, what to do with those issues. So, I mean, just to, just to kind of wrap up, um, you know, in terms of uh, possible solutions to some of these issues, um, you know, I, I think the, 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 the ECPA reform that, um, that, that Dan was um, saying in this country is a, is a very important step to, Kind of bringing bringing our um, surveillance laws uh, up into the 21st century, you know, in the United States, I would urge you know that that strong baseline privacy laws um, are, are are an important step to to kind of bring our privacy laws closer to um, European privacy laws and and give European companies, your potential European customers of U.S. cloud computing services, more reassurance that um, that there are some strong privacy laws that, that govern the data. Um,